water Oh, the dark rolling sea She is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland Kate Mila Falter, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we're going back to the west coast of Ireland up to Galway, up to Kinvara, and on along the west coast of Ireland with uh, Galway Hooker. And I've already, because of the short space of time I've got here, I have a very bold gentleman here in the studios, and he only gives me 27 minutes. But in here we have some of the Galway Hooker, and as you know that I have, I'm a believer of contact paper, and it's in here, and you'll see as I go along, and if you've been watching the programs will know. Down here I painted the seas black, and a mountain range way over there, hills, all black. So the top is, is just a canvas prime, double prime canvas, and blackened with black gesso. So what I need to do now is cover the black gesso with liquid clear, sparingly, just sparingly, cover it all. It doesn't really matter if you go up into the white. That doesn't matter. But put it on sparingly. Do not, and I repeat, do not put on too much. Just cover all this now, right down to the end, right down, and it's a little bit tough now, it has the consistency of honey, a little bit tough, but it makes your life real easy, <coughs> makes your life real, really easy once you have it on. Now that's lovely, and the only reason for that now is it makes this like a skating ring, slip and slide. Now, what I'm going to do next, the top of this, I need to make it slip and slide as well. I go into this with liquid white, liquid white. And that is self-explanatory. Just cover the canvas with it. It's a liquid paint. It's an oil paint. It's liquid form. And it's a slow drying paint. And you can get this all these paints, if you look at the television program, there will be a number to contact and you can walk away there from there. Don't try and make it up, it's ridiculous because it's quite cheap and if you buy a tub of this, I guarantee it will do you for months and you'll save a fortune in paints, an absolute fortune in paints because you can spread the paint out all over the place and you don't need to use very, very, very little. Now you can come right down here if you wish and you'll see now how that's misting that mountain range away out, out there to see. And right around and that's all I really need to do. So this is slippery and that's slippery and all you need to do to test this is put your finger on it and if you get your own fingerprint on it then you have it quite perfect. So straight away now we can go in. I'm a great believer of uh, keeping the corners of the canvas dark so that will focus your eye in. So I've into the picture down in here you want to get your eyes. So I'm going to go into black and blue and right across the top of that canvas, right across more black. Maybe there's a shower coming in there. Now this is a special black. It's not a, I think a formula there might be a little bit of crimson in it or something. It's a warm black. So, don't be afraid if people tell you you shouldn't use black. Use whatever makes your life easy. That's what you use. Because painting is for everybody. And don't make it miserable for yourself. Be happy. Be happy. Now I'm going to come right down the canvas, crisscross strokes, and this is where you save your money on paints, because the liquid white now will work for you right out with crisscross strokes. That's an exaggeration. The brush is on its edge, but crisscross strokes and let some of the light bust through the canopy. This is the canopy of outer space. And as you go down, the liquid white will oblige. Say, please, Mr. Liquid White, take the paint off of the brush for me. And it will. Just speak nice to it. Don't speak like the director of program speaks to me here. He really treats me rough, but okay. That's only when he forgets to take his tablets in the morning. <laughs> his blood pressure goes up when he just gives me half an hour. 
the cheek of him. Give me a half an hour to do a painting. And down, and down now. Right down. Very gentle. Gentle. Let it go right down. And here we go. Right down and soften the whole lot. Just soften it. Be gentle with it. And leave it go at that. Now, with a one inch brush, I come right in on its edge to titanium white. Right on to titanium white and tap into it and look up now at the painting and you'll see where there's light areas and there's dark areas there's a light area and there's a dark and play one again the other just stay in there for a little bit and just tap in just tap in and pick up some of that dark color and bring it in under the the lighter color and it will form a shadow for you automatically the liquid clear will, will work for you here again and again just tap now don't don't paint a lot of you are making the mistake you're painting don't do that be happy and down into the shadow area here very gentle and wipe your brush when you come off the canvas wipe your brush a lot of you are not wiping the brush and you're bringing the dot back up again So don't do that. Now, down into the shadow area here again. And right down. And keep wiping the brush when you come off, picking up more paint at a time. And here, there we go. And don't mind that shadow now. There's a beautiful shadow here at the base of this. The dark colors are your favorite. They're your best friend. Let it run right down into that shadow. Talk to it, right over Galway Bay. We must do, um, in one of the series, uh, we must do a sunset in Galway Bay. And I think it was Bing Crosby made a famous song, Watch the Sun Go Down in Galway Bay. It's a beautiful song. Absolutely beautiful. Sure, I might even give you an old bar myself. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd be shot here in the studio if I start singing shot. Now, just tap and leave it and tell yourself to go away from it. Otherwise, you'll mess it up. So with a clean brush, very gently, go right across it and ask it, please, Mr. Sky, please sit down for me. Very gentle. Talk to it. Whisper. Very, very gentle. Right down. Right down. Very gentle. And then stop it away from it and that's fine now what I need to do is get a, a filbert brush and immediately I will go into Van Dyke Brown a little bit on the brush there, there's no need for a whole lot small bit of crimson to warm it up small bit maybe a little bit of black not a bit of crimson but a really dark color that's basically all you're after push into it and come up here and create the illusion of a mountain range. And roll the old paint off of the brush. Roll it off. Turn the brush. Turn the brush. Turn. Roll it off. And pull it down. Down and down and down. Down and down. Right down over there to the far off horizon over there. And again, the other side, right along here. And again, roll that paint off of the brush. Make those noises. If you make the noise, the paint will come off much easier for you. And down onto the horizon. And right down there. Now what I'm going to do next is, before I go any further, I'm going to get a one inch brush. I'm going straight into black on its own, all black. Black is a good color for Irish seas. A lot of you are making the mistake of having your seas too blue. Don't have them too blue. When you go on holidays, you can paint blue seas, but not in Ireland. 
Not in Ireland. All seas are quite dark. I will bring them to light. Right along, and in Galway, and everywhere else. Sometimes there's a flare of green in them, but I don't know, is it weed or algae or what? Sometimes I look out to see when I'm driving along the coast, and I can see quite a bit of green. Not blue, not blue. Very, very seldom blue, but sometimes green. Out at sea. Now, but just for the fun of it, we'll put us a little bit of green. Just a little bit of sap green. Don't tell anybody. This is all secret. And let it disappear. Small bit of sap green. Don't tell anyone. Right down there. It's gone into the black now. And maybe a little bit of blue, just to cheer you up. I know you're all giving out to me. Come on, put a bit of blue in it. And there's a little bit of blue, just to make everybody happy. But really, it's all black. Nearly all black. Not a bit of black up there, way up. Now, I get myself a knife and a bit of the titanium white. Not much, not much. There's no need for too much. And a bit of yellow ochre. Small bit of dark cyan. I just need to highlight maybe a small bit of crimson. I just want to highlight that hill away there in the maybe another bit of cyan. That's better. Get in under it. Think you're digging spuds. I shall nobody dig spuds anymore. I'd have to say that. Everybody runs to the supermarket for spuds. No, that's fine. God be with the men and women long ago. They knew how to... <laughs> talking to myself and laughing to myself. Now, I'm going to cut across this. And there's a little roll of paint up there on that knife. My island, oh I'm coming home. That's a pretty good roll of paint. Just keep that up on the knife. Not a big roll, just a nice roll. And come right up here onto the canvas now. Just all along the side of that mountain. Very gentle. Not too much. Again, on here. Don't kill the darks. The dark is your friend. And all along, right along there, let the highlight shine down onto the mountain. And over here, at the other side, the same. Don't kill the darks. And then go away from it. And you can come with your fan brush and very gently ask it to sit down. Please sit down for me. Very gently. Very, very gently. Right down. Right down. And pull the brush with the fall of ground. Do not come down or don't go up. Come down with the hill. As though you're walking down the hill. Pull your brush strokes with the hill. And you'll find it works. And then just let it set off. Let it set off there, way in the distance, very far, very far over, and again there, let it go, just leave it go. Now, all I need to do now is go into titanium white, just titanium white, and again, go right across it with the knife and get your roll of paint up on the knife. And now, get that little roll of paint. And come right up here and rest your knife on the canvas and with horizontal strokes just cut into the canvas and let the wood let the canvas take take that paint off of the knife and don't be afraid to cut into the canvas you'll do no harm and to pick up the color just cut in and you'll see the surf breaking way outside miles out don't worry it's a long way out and right across the canvas, right on, like that, like so. And all vertical strokes, or horizontal strokes, I beg your pardon, all horizontal strokes, and don't be afraid to go in and lean, and you get the surf to break for you. Ask the old the waves to break. 
Please, Mr. Wave, please break for me there. Oh, I think I go sailing. And I don't, <laughs> I don't have sea legs. I'm okay on the lake, but not on sea. And now you'll start, as you come closer, to pick up some of those colours that we put in. I see green breaking here now in front of me. Now, what I'm going to do is leave it go at that. Because you'll be inclined to get carried away. I can see the green picking up here now. So I'm going to go away from it. Go away from it, Dave. Please go away. Now, you know me. You know me. And my contact paper. And in here, if you come right up, I go right under this contact paper, lift it, and pull. Very gently. It's tough, but it will come. And back in here. And again, ask it to come off fire. Come on, come on. I need to get into that Galway hooker. And down here. Get the rest of it off. And down here. Need to get him off. And we can get on with the business now of painting the rest of that. So what I need to do now is get in here and soften that. Again, with the um, with the knife, get in there, and here, right on. Now what I need to do is make up some dark paint, real dark paint, so uh, black and green. Now Van Dyke Brown I think will do, Van Dyke Brown, but I need to thin it out with the knife. Don't, uh, you pick up enough white spirit on the knife to thin out this paint. It needs to be like ink. A milk, like that consistency, ink or milk. Um, anything, water would be a little bit thin. Now, just go across this, line up the mask. You need, don't try to do this with a brush. It's much easier to do it with a knife. And you get a lovely fine line. A lovely fine line with a, with a knife. Right there, there, out here. And here, and there. And run right up along. Let it run out there. Right up. And here right down. Tidy up all that by just cutting it with the knife. You get the finest line you ever saw. Off of that mask, get pulleys and jigs. Off of this one. All those pulleys and jigs. And they have all kind of Little corks, just touch all those things for pulling and tightening the sails. Now these hookahs were used to transport goods up and down the west coast of Ireland for generations. Out onto the islands, they brought turf out onto the islands and all types of goods. I think they might have brought an odd bottle out there to order to bring it in. I don't know whether it was in or out, but we won't talk about that. And down here, I get my fan brush. And I get some titanium white, a little bit of liquid white, a little bit of liquid white. And right along here, I just to get a basic shape. And I push up against, she'll break against that. She'll break against. And I 
catch the base of that wave and pull it right down, right down. Just pull it right down, very gentle, very gentle. Let that run right down, down into nodding. And again, coming right in with more titanium white, more liquid white, little one there. And let him pull down to meet this one in front of it. Starting to pick up some of that green that we put on there earlier on. And again, here again. More titanium white and liquid white mixed. And you can and again catch him down. Pull him down in a little half, half a round stroke. There's um, a lot of these hookers have now been restored. And they have racing up around Kinvara, all along there. Lovely festivals. Lovely people manning these boats. And they're world famous boats now. The only thing is that uh, there's other people in other shows borrowed the name, but uh, for a different job. And just catch that again and pull it right down. Half twist, a little half twist. And again, just another little bit. And leave it go at that. Leave it go at that. Fight with yourself. Go away from it. Just want to get um, a little um, liner brush. And a bit of black, Van Dyke brown, a bit of white spirit. And come in here. Kinvara is very famous for these type of craft. All along the west coast is really. And all along there. Today we're going to end the show with the Dublin City Ramblers, new tape, Ireland, my Ireland. Sean and his group have come to the studio and I'm going to hand you over to Sean and the group. With a tear in my eye, I will say my last goodbye. For I'm going where the grass, it is greener Out of town, homeward bound I am leaving today For the land that I've forever dreamed of Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her or the dark rolling sea she is calling to me oh i'm coming back home to ireland when i first left my home i was inclined to roam as a boy sure my age it was 20 with my head full of dreams Full of hopes and full of schemes To the land that was so full of plenty Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her O'er the dark rolling sea She is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland Well I found me a job And I tried to settle down But my heart for my home Was ever yearning With my dreams wandered forth To the land of my birth 
And the day that I would be returning Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her Oh, the dark rolling sea She is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her Oh, the dark rolling sea She is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart